an idea that started with 265 acres of land in 2006 and became a reality in 2012. A private owner wanted to bring an American safari right here to Central Florida where now more than 500 exotic animals and 40 different species naturally thrive. And as News 6 and Nadine Yana shows us where you can really get up real close and get a nice look at them. Here at Safari Wilderness, there is no way you feel like you are in Lakeland, just eight miles off of I-4. No, this is 265 acres of animals in their natural habitat. Now, many want to stay far away, which is fine, but you can also get really up close, even get a chance to feed them. <laughs> we start heading out this way. It's about two hours, but time flies by on this Safari Wilderness tour. I just stay in at least this far if you don't get bit by an ostrich. Which, right out the gate, starts with two very curious ostriches. Look how close she is. Yeah, she's getting really close. Uh, ostriches are not known for their intelligence. Their brains are actually smaller than their eyeball. But she knows in this blue bucket right here, it's full of food. Oh, they're going for it. Guys. But the food is for the llamas up next, and they knew it too. The llamas are very protective. Also, they're very dramatic. And so was I, feeding them. I'm not feeding you twice, even though you have a really pretty smile. <laughs> Look at this ostrich. She's coming in hot. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, are you going to spit at me? Don't spit at me. The private ranch, which opened in 2012, sits on Florida's green swath and the more than 500 animals on it, from hopping lemurs, zebras with their babies, to dozens of different antelope naturally live here. So this is where they, they breed at, this is where they live, this is where they sleep, uh, so this is where they do their whole life cycle with that. And this is about as real as it gets. You never know what's going to happen out here. Some, like these axis deer, show dominance. He's showing how tough he is to the other male. Others get kicked out of their herds. And younger, stronger male just kicked him out. This guy joining a different species altogether, welcoming him as their own. He follows them everywhere they go. He watches their babies. So he's like a glorified babysitter. <laughs> Natural behaviors on this tour, just like you would see in Africa or Asia. The idea is to make you guys think you're actually in Africa. Even though it's a treasure only an hour away from Orlando. It's not like you're going to be in line, have to get a fast pass for this. Uh, so it's more naturalistic. Uh, the animals like it better, and you'll like it better. So that tour we just took, we can actually do it again, but on Camelback if you wanted to. Safari Wilderness offering tons of different tours at different prices. They even have a sunset summer tour right now. For more information, just head to clickorlando.com. Until then, we're in Lakeland. I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results, News 6. So She's like is, one with the animals. It's like a hidden gem because most people know about it through word of mouth. They don't do a lot of marketing. Yeah, they put all the money towards the animals, which is so great. Mm -hmm. And tours are about 100 bucks a person. But, I mean, it does last a few hours. Mm -hmm. You can even do it camelback. Why not? It's beautiful out there. Yeah, it is so beautiful. I mean, and it is going to be a warm weekend, but if you're planning on maybe heading out there this weekend, it's going to be mm -hmm. at least nice and dry. Get but a hat like Nadine's. Yeah. I didn't realize ostrich had small, such small little brains.